Welcome back everyone to Final Fantasy XIV Online with Rosaloy Serafina. This is episode 51. We are back in Alimza Laminza and I believe the fair has started. Uh, the Moonfire Fair. We may or may not have a look at that. We need to be level 30 to take part. Oh, I'm not sure I've got anything up there yet with this character. Level 10, level 4... Level 28 is my gladiator. So we'd have to push for level 30 before we could join in with this one. So we may have to leave that. Hopefully it'll come around again another time. Level 26 for my pugilist. What about... Okay. The elemental gauge always gets in the way. Level 20. Level 29 for my weaver. Radio. <laughs> 24. Okay, so we have nothing up at level 30. So we're probably not going to take part wow at our um in this fair this year i don't think i can go up two or three levels in uh, in the time we will see we'll see but i'm not going to push it like i did last time all right so i think what was i supposed to be doing we were heading on down here i am going to grab okay so my harness is level 10. all right let's just grab our gladiator she can run around for a little bit at level 28. we are i believe well we've got to find fish for chuchuroon Slay some wild dodos and mandragora. Uh, speak with Perimu Har Harumu in Summerford. Report to Axe Master Wernzone. That's one of the things we're doing here. Uh, I think what we're doing at the moment is good for what ails you. Let's just pop that one up as a, as a thing we're tracking. Alright. And what we need to do for that is uh, we need to... We have we found out that the cask of ale may have ended up exactly where it was supposed to after all, with the bloody executioners aboard their ship, the Astalicia. It might be best to head off in that direction to confirm whether the customer was indeed the thief. Oh dear. Well, let's start. Let's go. So uh, I'm thinking. I know. I'm hoping there's a switchback. Yeah, there's a switchback that'll take us into. Here we go. There we are. Oh, these guys look merry. If they don't have a cask of ale, then they, they certainly need one. Well, they don't need one, I should say. <laughs> oh dear, let's pop that over there. Maybe shrink it. There we go. Alrighty. What are you? What are you looking at? This is a dance jewel. A dance jewel. Much more important than I think you got. Much Oh, much more. Oh dear. Someone doesn't need any more ale. Okay, so they're dance dueling. You may be able to scamper up the rigging to the crow's nest, but can you get down? Not for a siren's leap, you great lot of her. Begging your pardon, Captain, but there ain't no Mikoti live ever on her feet than a great gluten regarding such as yourself. <laughs> well said, Captain, and well retorted, your bloody sun seeker was your moon keeper. Uh, what other lands they got there? Bah, who even cares? Am I right? Who are you, anyway? There was a whole parcel of your four, and now there's only one. That's a miser's trick, it is. Oh, nope, nothing worse than a miser. This awesome, what was Madrigal, or Admiral, what was his name? He didn't like no shrinking or dancing. Bad for corals? Corals? Can't be right. Corals. Corals. Ha, of course, you're right there, lassie. Should never have doubt myself. Anyway, this magical, I call him magical, pinch fist. Past decrees like they was fucked. Decreed no dancing within a hand's reach of spirits. But no magical smarter than a sailor man. We just stop reaching with our hands altogether. Are we invent invented step dancing what showed the magicals pinch fist and his corals aye aye that's right that's he gets all be all fired up they should think like oh, i know you want to dance all this time i just thought she was being shirlish but uh oh oh no no it's yes dance first talk later that's the way of it Fine. What are we dancing? We're dancing again. <laughs> this must be her third dance. Oh girl. Oh, 
Why, you cagey sea fox, there's like silent folk, you two. <laughs> you swear there was three of you, or is I just... Never mind, is you personally a sister now? You ask me anything. Right then, I want to know where the ale is. A cash for Rutherson's ale? Carried it off from Fisherman's Bottom, my very own shelf I did. As to matter of fact, we'd already drunk or we had aboard. Of course, Dozen's getting paid for it someday. Don't make a difference if he frets a night or two up. What? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'd step out of his way too, Roz. Why, you reprobate Hornson, what's that's the tailor that Casca logged in? Blaggard! You dare call yourself a bloody executioner all hug and mug about what belongs to who? Dodazan has the cods not to mule about the colours we wear and you're playing for a fool. I I'm sorry, Captain. W wasn't thinking it through. Gosh, to fix that idea is what they call a coral failing. Moral. <laughs> oh, I think he, he needs to sober up a little bit. <laughs> Oh, adventurer, I beg pardon for my man. I swear a Limlayan mistook him for an oyster and gave him grit for brains, brains when she made him. Since you're ready here, how about you square our account with Dodazan? Take this payment to him. We'd be much obliged. Sure thing. You dance with us and all, so I'm trusting the gill won't conspire into any moral failings in you. There's some long keel on the Alastitia if you take my meaning. Oh boy. Oh, that was a way to, way to end a dance party. Ah, <laughs> uh, I wonder what happens to him. I know, the captain does not look at all happy. He's probably got him swabbing the text or something. Well, that will sober him up, I guess. Uh, I suppose I'm not allowed in there? No, I guess not. No coral failings for me. Alrighty, well, seeing as I don't want to upset something five times my size. How do I get out of here again? Oh, maybe I can... Okay, I'm lost. No, Captain, I'm not inspecting your ship. I've just done a where I'm going. Is there another downstairs? Right, I'm going to stop over the edge of the oh. Alright, it must be that set of stairs, and I must be blind. We're good. Let's, um, let's go find out how to go down there we are. Down this way. Alright. And there's got to be another... Yeah, there's another door. I knew this. I know, I've been so lost in this ship so many times now. Okay, this was the third. Uh, Alright, so the outdoor must be yeah, right here. <laughs> Alright, we need to go and pay Dodazan his payment. Let us have a look. I can hear... I reckon that party is in full swing. I really hate this armor too. I need to get better armor so I don't have to wear it. Where am I? Alright, so if I hang a left and then go up this switch back here, we should get to whatever that mission is. Good for what hours here. Okay, that's the mission we actually want to get to. So let's do that. Let's do it at, a, at the trot. At the trot. Or the gallop, depending how fast I can get this character to run. So what we're doing is we're tidying up some of our missions so we don't have quite so many uh, quests in our quest log. There we go. So Dodazan, good for what ails you. There you are. Not a moment too soon. Did you find my ale? I, I did. I found the payment even. There you go. Huh. Well, that's the price I was to receive, but where did you get it? Oh, from the bloody... Uh, I mean, from the clients themselves. I see, yes. There's always some blustery young fellow like that has not any swallows or stars yet, I'll wager. Cods, you say? Captain Mornscat is kind to say so, I'm sure, but I hail from Ulda, where we trade with anyone if they've the guild to pay. Pirates, princes, they're all the same to me. And if I know those particular pirates, and I do, they'll be wanting another cask soon to drink, to drink away this little fracas. Many thanks, adventurer. <laughs> and we learnt step dance. Boom. We've learnt to step dance. That's exciting. Alright, what are we doing next? Let's have a look. Limsa, Dainty Dilemma. We have to leave again. Yeah, to go Summerford. Alright, Axe in the Stone. Let's go do that. Uh, that's here. And we need to find... 
Oh, we need to go talk to the armorer, don't we? Yeah, we need to speak to the armorer's guild. Can't do those two. That will take me out of the city as well. Um, because we need to go to Brewer's Beacon in Western Lanosia. We do need to do that. That's going to be fun. And we will probably do that with our gladiator. The first time I did it, I did it with a... Um... My lens is pretty up there. Isn't it? No. No, that's the other one. Right. Uh, I did go through it with a... Um... A Thaumaturge. And then the second time we did it, I went through it with Lancer. Uh, it was good. It was really good. I enjoyed that. Okay. Uh, looks like we're heading in the right direction. Where am I going? <sighs> I'm going to go up to this crystal and we're going to do some teleporting. So, do I have anything for my Akarnas? No. Archer, Radiator, Tundra, Lancer, she's fine. Marauder. Now, I should have something unlocked for them. Not on this deck. Upper decks, then. Yep. Alrighty. So, we're going to teleport our way to the Marauder's Guild, rather than get lost 3,000 times trying to find our way through this coral maze. I know. I, I really want to find out where the... I think it might be on the aft deck, actually, the celebrations. That'll be interesting. Into the Ethernet. All of those times in Ulda when I was running for the nearest thing, I could have just been teleporting out of the big crystal. I, I'm, I'm not going to say. It's taken me nearly 50 hours to work that out. <laughs> um, let's go that way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just, yeah. It's fine. Let's see what Wernzone wants us to do. Half the time these guys want us to go out of the city, so it's always easier just to get all the all the things in one go. As the training loosened your muscles and fastened focused your mind, Rosalor, an urgent request for help has arrived from the Red Rooster Stead, and I have chosen you to respond. It appears a hostile group of Megalo crabs has unwittingly elected itself the next test of your prowess. As this is your first outing, outing on an official marauder duty, you shall be accompanied by a veteran conjurer by the name of Solquib. She waits you on the floor below. May devastation follow in your wake. Alright, so yes, they're all directing us to the same area. Wait, I thought I saw a quest somewhere in here. It's got a little plus sign and it's purple, so I'm thinking... Did I just run past it? Ah, oh, okay. If it's not here, that's probably Sogweed. Um, it's it's probably under me, so let's go downstairs. I know this is... In, in other games it actually tells me down, whereas this one just seems to... Um, I've got to work it out. It's not a bad thing. Uh, ha ha, Sokwee, how are you doing? Aye, Rosala, I know who you are. My brother often has me escort fledgling marauders on their more dangerous tasks. I suppose we're in zone expects me to give you the details then? Very well. Seems the farmers need us to clear out a megalo crab nest near the morning widow in Lower Lanosia. I shall trust you to find your own way there. Just don't forget your axe. And then she walks off and leaves me because she is such a good supervisor. <laughs> there was no sarcasm in that. Alrighty, let's check our journal and see if there's anybody else in here that we need to um, that we need to see. We might stand near the Ethernet shard so I don't forget to use it and go running all over the ship again. We do need, okay, Dainty Dilemma. Some of it. Axe in the Stone. Megalo Crab Nest. What's in the box? Dodos and Mandragoras. That's somewhere else. Uh, that's somewhere else. Alright, let's go see the Armourer's Guild so we can cross the Armourer off in this one. Uh, radio. I don't think they have a crystal anywhere near them, to be honest. Ah, uh, they're in... Oh, there's a quest over here. Allergic to sunshine. You'll be level 30 for that. That is your starter for your event. Um, that's my Lev Met. We're not going to go bother with him at the moment. Axe in the stone and what's in the box. In lower lamas here. Okay, sorry. Oh, my bad. Alright. Limsa, Liminsa, lower decks. 
I'm just looking, because I am lost. I'm just going to go find the Armourer's Guild. Okay, that's Western Lanasia. I know, I've lost the Armourer's Guild. It's impossible. I spent so much time there. Actually, I think this is the Armourer's Guild right here, so that means I need the Aft Castle. Boom. Aft Castle. Yeah, there we go. The Moonfire Festival. We're not going to that yet. Whoa! Wow. I love the decorations. Okay, we're not going to them because this character is only level 11 or this job is only level 11. I know, it's really hard jogging past it when you don't have it. But this is where we want to go. So from the aft castle, down to here. Now why, oh yeah, I can talk to her as my, my level 11 marauder. Here we go. Jandeline sent you, let me guess, the balmy fool's lost his tools. Pardon me, the appendages of his very soul, again, and is thrashing and tossing like the end of days is nigh. The man brings it on himself. If he toned down the theatrics and went about his work like an earnest craftsman, I dare say he'd save himself these misunderstandings. No, I've not a whit of sympathy for the fool. You, however, have my pity indeed for having to play audience to his whinging. Any road, they should shut him up for a while. Tell him that if he loses these, I'll graft the next pair into his bloody hands. Ooh. Well, she's not happy. Um. Do I need to see all three of them still? Or is it just that? Or do I, was one of them just going to be enough? No, I do need to see all of them. Beaten at the Carpenter's Guild and Severian at the... <sighs> We could just get it out of the way and just zippity doo dah our way through. We've got 17,000 gil. So we could just go um, teleport New Gridania. Zippity doo dah over there. I know, right? It's just, it just gets the quest off the quest list. <laughs> I can be focused. Uh, most times I would just normally. Um, okay. Oh, hello, Kyo. What do you want? I don't think Lord, I'm looking for, to be honest. Broadening Horizons. Tayo Mui would grant you passage through the White Wolf Gate. Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. Rosalor, is it? I've been following your exploits with great interest. You've served all dark well, but I believe your greatest accomplishments are yet to come. It is with such lofty expectations that I would grant you passage beyond Gridania's own White Wolf Gate. Take this pass and show it to Franchement Montieu, the gatekeeper. Gird yourself well for the battles to come, and I'm sure that news of your deeds will reach us again before long. Well, that was a good quest to, to complete. Um, what I'm looking for is the Carpenter's Guild, and I'm pretty sure that doesn't have something in front of it, because it's just down here. Well, hello, Adeli. What's the matter? Can I help you? Adeli is looking for an adventurer to deliver a forgotten item. Ah, an adventurer! Precisely what I need! Not a moment ago, we dispatched our newest recruit, Artor, to inspect Miketo's amphitheatre. Regrettably, the young Kyo has more spirit than sense, and he charged off without his tools. Suffice it to say, he won't be getting any work done. Would you be so kind as to deliver them to him? Wonderful. Seek out Lehelic in the acorn orchard beyond the atrium. He should have Artor's tools. Alright, we'll do that. What was that? Getting it off my quest log? Shh, stop it. Alrighty. Rosalor, uh, beaten. Message from Jandalane, you say? So he's lost another one? Does the man not understood that wood doesn't simply grow on... Oh, actually it does, at least in a matter of speaking, but the fact remains that resources are in short supply. For all these flowery words, if his tools were truly an extension of his very being, one would think he'd find a way to hold on to them for more than a fortnight or two. Jandelaine's skills are not to be doubted, but his temperament leaves much to be desired. Still, it is not my place to judge. Take this to him and let us both hope that he will be right his ways. Alrighty, now before I get tempted to go uh, off task again, <laughs> let us teleport our way to where now? Where with the what now? Ulda, isn't it? And we need to speak to the Alchemist's Guild. Alrighty, let's go. So, M, no, not M. Teleport. Ulda. The Steps of Null we want to go to. 
And then instead of running to the nearest little Ethernet shard, we're going to turn around. We're going to walk up to this big Ethernet shard. And we're going to have access to the Ethernet. I wonder if I could have done that from the other Ethernet. So let me just have a look at this. All right. And we're in. We want to go to the Alchemist Guild, so this will be easier if we just do it this way. <laughs> I know. Oh, how many times did that... No, don't answer that, we're good. Let us go. Uh, we are looking for... This young man here, who's also a guild master, right. You've come on behalf of Gendelaine. Well, I just furnished him with a fresh batch of my special creations last week. I realise the man's services are in demand, but it would be physically impossible for him to exhaust the entire supply so soon. Stolen, you say? An unfortunate turn of events indeed, if not entirely unexpected. You see, the man is something of a genius, and genius is often misunderstood by modest minds. Trust me, as I speak from extensive personal experience. Yes, great minds must band together in trying times, lest the realm be deprived of our talents. And so I command you, deliver this parcel to Jandelaine with all speed. Alright, all speed you say. Where's my teleport? Limbs Hunter, let's go. I know, costing me a very tidy fortune. Okay. Now I believe we need to go and find, where's my J? Yeah, let's find him on our map. Now why is that locked? Was I a different class when I took this? Yes, I was a Thaumaturge. Fine, let's go. I need to go left and then left again. Right here. Right, and then right again. I know, dyslexia, not my friend. Uh, I think it's this way. I've, I'm lost already. Yes, I am. First, find your client. Oh, someone is having fun dancing. It's kind of cute. Okay, we're kind of in the right area, maybe. Actually, where's my map again? Yeah, oh, I needed to go to the upper decks. That would be why. Well, okay, let's go to the upper decks then. He's in this area, I was like. Just need to find him. Oh, that little green arrow is hiding out. I know, did you see that? Fireworks! If I'm not careful, I'm going to fall off something, following me. Um, so the festival's running for... I forget how long. Hey! If there's an ons of compassion in you, friend, I beg you, retrieve for me the tools of my trade, for I'm none other than Jandelaine the... <coughs> the S... <coughs> I... Uh, uh, you... Are so lucky you have friends. Here you go. Could this be? Yes, I can feel it. The light returns to my eyes. Power courses through my fingers. I, I live. I know, bad acting is us. Oh, okay. I don't have the patch on this guy. And as I live, this unspeakable embodiment of ugliness must die. Be gone, foul demon! Uh, uh oh. Really? Uh. <gasps> ah! <laughs> and so I ask, how do you feel, madam? Why? It's as if. But. 
In a single magnificent moment, I travel beyond the void and return to life as the embodiment of all that is beautiful in this world. Could it be? Yes, it must. How else to explain such power? You are the one whose coming was foretold. You, yes, you are the aesthetician. In the flesh, madam, I am Jandelaine, crafter of coiffures so divine that Membina herself doth begrudge my clientele their beauty. But let us speak of you, madam, for where a moment ago stood a fashion-challenged frump, now there stands a beauty reborn. Oh, she's happy. <laughs> Oh, no, don't you come near me. No, uh, and you are the one I must thank for reviving my soul, that I might once again bestow my gifts on a realm bereft of beauty, a kindness I intend to repay in full. Oh, uh, please don't. No, 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 no. No. Do you fear your own hairstyle is becoming passé? Fear the spectre of <gasps> ugliness threatening to consume you? Fear not, friend, for it shall not survive my wrath. Do you keep those scissors away from me, or I'm going to... Oh my god. Look the look on her face. What is that? As the madam before you, as this very realm we call home, from an abyss of unfathomable dradness, you shall rise anew. My clients have been known to make reservations moons, even years in advance, but you shall know no such troubles. No, for proving a staunch ally to good taste when all others turned a blind eye, I gladly place myself at your beck and call. Uh, uh-huh. Yes. The next time you find yourself plagued by aesthetic ennui, you need only ring the crystal bell from the comfort of any inn room at which you have taken up lodgings. Oh, uh, thank you. Jandelaine shall hasten to the scene. Yes, in a flash, the dreary, uninspired life you have in hitherto unknown, hitherto known, shall end. You shall travel to the realm beyond and return to us as. A beauty reborn. I give you this as a token of the trust between us. Treasure it, for it is the key to a world of aesthetic wonders ordinary women shall never know. Oh, oh Master Gentilane, do come back. I've not made my next appointment. Well, he's happy again, isn't he? <laughs> I'm not sure what to think of him. We did get some XP out of it, though. What class did I put that on my cemetery? <laughs> you can now accept the next class or job quest, because we're level 25, yeah. Uh, Aesthetician, you have befriended Jandelaine. By using the crystal bell found in your inn room, you can call upon the services of the flamboyant aesthetician. From hairstyle and colour to face paint, he can create a new look uh, for you for a mere 2,000 gil. Whenever you feel like a change, Jandelaine is your man. I, I will have to make sure that I'm feeling suitably chill. <laughs> prior to his visit because I, I reckon after his visit I'm going to need to find something to help me feel suitably chill <laughs> alright we're going to ignore preserving the past and um, broadening horizons we are I think it's actually time for us to head out into uh, southern Oh yeah, no, that's for delivery, that's fine. Lower Lamas here, there we go. Let me have a look at that. I don't think there's anywhere in there that I can... No, because I very foolishly didn't go all the way down to here. I'm not attuned to it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go... Uh, we're going to run, of course we are. And we're going to find our way. I just need to work out how to do it again. M. 
there is a way to come into this area. Alright, so back to the after castle and then out through the gate that way. And just make sure I'm at least pointing in the right direction before I put the map away. There we go. Alrighty. Takashi, B.I.B. Oh! Looks like one of my guildies. Alright, I know, but if I if I digress, I'm going to be lost. Well, let's go. Alright, so we are heading. We're heading out to... I know, I looked at things that helped your guild level up. So, leveling your character and doing um, tasks and things. Um, Achieving achievements helps that helps the guild level and so on and so forth. So, sorry, the company level, the company level, I don't know, long terms. I'll get there eventually, I'm just still learning. Right, what level is that? Level 4. I call that a toad time limit. Toad, okay. You <laughs> call that a toad? This is a toad. Ah, oh, yeah, don't mind me. What's this doing? Scathe deals unexpected damage. Let's just pop that over there. So I don't forget to use it. I'm actually thinking, um, I'll just move that over. Swift cast, I'm going to move my fire 2 above my fire 1, and then move my ice 2 above my ice 1. That way I know where it is. We're going to shuffle these potions along just because we can. No, actually, because I want to be able to have my weakness somewhere close. And sleep. Uh, actually, I'm used to having sleep on 6. And I'm used to having that on 8. Alright, and I'm used to that having that on 5. Let's just leave those there. Otherwise, next time I run this thing, I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, we're on level 25 for our formatage. I won't be running... I forget which one. Okay. Slay Wild Dodos and Mandragos. I'm pretty sure that that is actually my Arcanist's job. And she's only level 10. So let's wander her this way. Can we drug again? Yes, nine. Upward. Um. Oh no, I am. Alright, sorry, I think that was my own. Okay, stop. I that needs to go on the top there. How many wall dodos? Are we getting some cooking ingredients out of this? I think so. Uh, clearly, I have another wild dodo mission. No, I don't. Okay, that one's gone. Now, the tiny mandragora were at the base of the mountain, um, where that big goo goo thing is. There were some in other places, but those are the ones I remember. Let's just zoot on over that way. There they are, they're playing so innocently. I'm practicing doing things from a range because I'm so used to running up to them. Um, I should also be practicing playing with the bunny. Where is the bunny? Let's grab the bunny out. So I don't know what it does and I'm, I'm kind of a little bit at a loss as to what to do with it. Summons Carbuncle. Or oh, summons a Ruby Carbuncle. Oh, I see. So I could send... I could send this one away. Right, I need to put my Carbuncles together. Um, and I could summon a Ruby Carbuncle. Why can't I do that? I can't use it yet. Alright, alright, so I don't know what I'm doing yet. Right, we'll just grab this one. We're going to command it to... Guard. That order has already been given. Alright, good. Like I said, this is new, so... It deals unexpected damage. So I can just hit that with this. I can't just hit that with this. Alright, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, okay, my ether flow gauge. Cost is one. 
Oh, I see. I have to wait for it to... Yep. I did have to go in, let me just reorder my stuff. Dainty Dilemma, Summerford, Axe in the Stone, my Gallo Cup, so we definitely want those two. What's in the box? We're tracking that because we've just finished it. Probably Pirates, Fish, Silver Lining. I thought I had some Aranian I needed to deliver, that's okay. Alrighty, investigate the Magella Crab nest in the Lower Lana Sea. It was at the Red Rooster Stead. I was pretty sure. So we go up to our map. Alright, no, it's down there. Ran right past it. You dopey beggar. Let's go for a run. And we need to be... I know. Character running along with uh, their axes over their heads. Swinging axes and exchanging books for, yeah, crazy. Heading on this way. The eyes. Oh, is that what that bridge is? I think so. Maybe. Alright, so Magella Crabs. There's like a little pocket. I need to duck into. Uh, level 11, I may or may not get arced on. No, I don't want to join your fate. We are not sinking our levels. I don't think they're in the tunnel. These guys. I am six or more levels above the... Yes, I know. That's why I'm not joining it. Are they up there? Maybe they're up there. Let me just see. I know, Megalo crabs. They're just a little bit too big to miss. I reckon that's where they are. But can I get up there without... No, okay, it looks like I'm going to have to, I don't know, jump this fence and then follow that up there. I know, because you don't want my life to be easy. What's your problem? Whoa, is that a thing that... I know, that's kind of cute, isn't it? I wonder how I, how I go about finding one of those. Where am I? I'm at the Tempest Gate. I don't want to be here. I want to be over there. How do I get there? For me over there and up that hill. I don't think it's meant to be this hard. I think I'm actually making it harder for myself. So I don't think there are Megello. Oh, okay. No, there might be. Alright, probably time to actually read the instructions. Axe in the stone. Meet her near the Morning Widow in the Lower Lanasia. So the Morning Widow. So what, what's orange on the map then? Go down. Okay, it does tell me. Go down. Oh, hang on a minute. I completely missed it. It's the purple thing. Righty, -o, we got this. Now we wait. I know, I must have just run straight past it. Huh, looks as if nobody's home. Mayhap they knew we were coming. Aid! I need aid! What? 
Please, it's my grandson. Them snippers, I got him. I told Shigard not to get too close. I told him. Get that weapon ready, Rosalo. We need to move. Now. All right. Let's go. Alrighty. Where am I going to go? Okay, there's an orange circle. I see them. It looks like it's a duty too. Okay. Duty calls. Level sync in effect. Drop us to level 9. There we go. Oh boy. I told you these things are too big for me. Don't you dare. Oh bugger. I'm shite. Get away from me you bloody great bastard. Oh uh, kid. You think crossing them out's a good idea? Oh, what are we teaching him? That when he's in trouble, an adventurer's going to appear out of nowhere and help him. Kip, run. She doesn't say much. I like that. Oh, right, level 15? Just pick one and two, and two, and three, and two. And, oh, did she say? Do not stray too far from my side. Okay. I should probably use some armor. Oh, okay. I probably didn't need to do that, but you probably did not need to get into it. Can't let the novice have all the fun. <laughs> oh, spoken like a. And it is fun. Oh. Oh, good. There's more. Whoa, little brother. There are more. What? Man, you're letting the novice have some of the fun, though, right? Thank you, miss. I thought I was dead for sure. Yeah, well, you gotta watch your language, young chun sunshine. Can't even play outside no more, what with all these scary monsters about. Me ma and me da, they was both killed by some nasty bugger not so long ago. And all rocks, big as a mountain. I bet you could beat it. Oh, I make it pay for what it did to me, folks. You take it easy now, son. There's a whole guild full of strapping lads and lasses like Rosalor here who'll be glad to do just that. All you need to do is head home with your grandpa. You let us worry about that big nasty bugger. This guy. There you go, son. It's kind of like a, a green Zeus. He's, he's quite handsome. Consider your first duty a success, Rosalor. It's time you headed back as well. Before Wernzone begins to worry, I've left your corpse with the crabs. All right. Okay, now we did have something else to do. We need to go to Summerford, which I think is in central Lanostia. Let me have a quick look. Well, actually, why don't we just go to the mission, hit the map. Ah, uh, yeah. Looks like we're unattuned. We're going to have to fix that. Okay, unattuned and fixing things. Let us, before we go any further, attune ourselves to the big rock down here. We're probably going to pick up another half a hundred missions while we're doing it. But at least we'll be attuned and next time we won't have to journey quite so far. Not that we had to travel very far this time, but this will make our life a little easier. It's a bit like um, there are travel points in another game that I always always attune to if I can or, or unlock if I can if I can get to them. So um, no doubt we're gonna end up down here as well. So I might just attune myself to the sky shard. Um, no, that's not what it's called. Do 
attune myself to their ethernet shard I know we'll get there it's, it's all shards and crystals um, man <laughs> get so muddled well we're level 11 looks like we might get to level 12 we do however need to be in our rogue guys because our rogue is next I think I think I've forgotten to um, check my equipment as well I think it might be getting oh no oh right yeah some of it's getting a little bit worn we're gonna have to deal with that all right somewhere around here there is a thing where am I all right I need to swing that way oh right there it is easy to find even There's probably a Lev Met and a Jacobo Keep that I should talk to. Yeah, there's my Jacobo Keep. Let's talk to them and unlock Jacobos for this destination. Well, Map Traveller, uh, uh, do not tell me this is your first visit to this stop. I'll update my register with your name. I wonder if she could get me to Summerford. No. I wonder if she could when I unlock it, though. That's, the, that's a good question. We'll have to explore that. When you change to rogue, you've entered a sanctuary. Alright. Athel Flame. Alright, that, that is our, our lab mate. We might have to. No, we don't. We don't have to. We're going to be very good and we're just going to unlock the, the Ethernet crystal. Oh my gosh. So there is a lot of running in this game until you make your life easier by doing this. Now I can teleport to that for a small fee whenever I like, but because I won't run away before you take on another mission that you're not intending to do. Uh, we are going up this way. So I do kind of need to run almost all the way to Rooster's, Rooster's farm. Kind of. Do I have my nine ready? Let's go. I don't have a mount yet. I know how to get a mount, but I'm not quite there. There's a few good things unlocked soon, uh, provided I actually do the missions. We are, however, going to go get this one done. What's that? Alright, don't look at that. Let's go. Just run. Level 10 wild dog. You have a go at me. I'm going to beat you up. Actually, I'm in the wrong spot. Really? Next time, leave me alone. I got some XP out of that one. Really? Well, you're not going to get are you? Uh, I'm not very clever either, so I think I'm not. Oh no, no, that's right, that's a bridge. We're good. Level 11. Clearly, I'm not far enough. Right, I am going in the right direction. Alright, we're good. Let's do some sprinting. I know, nothing worse than sprinting your heart out and finding you've been sprinting the wrong way. <laughs> oh, of course, I would never do that. Alright, into Summerfield where we're going to try... We'll see, we'll see how, how complex this next mission is going to be. Paramu, Haramu. It is gorgeous countryside though, isn't it? Like you have the hills in the distance and yeah. I swore I had another Aurelia to kill. I know, I just... Dainty dilemma. I think I think I've got to talk to this guy first, but everything else, no, there's no. All right, we're good. Let's just go. We'll be fine. If we do, we'll come back. It'll be right. We'll just go unlock some of it because that's pain in the neck. Many. What? Ah, oh, 
Come, lady, will you forgive me for my tardiness? Why do you wish to see me so far from town? Ah, yes, let me explain, my love. Your love? Eyes alike. What was that? Ah, monster, save me. Save you? Who's going to save me? Ah, I don't understand. Oh. Some creatures are best left alone. Chua Chuck is a giant jellyfish which consumes its prey by the world we can't really leave it, can we? So I suppose we'll level soon. Oh my god, what that is this game? We might want to have to push some damage. And keep an eye on our health. Is this really good? I don't know, but anyway, let's go out the way of the game. I melt with you, right now. And that was what that was about. But I never got the chance to... <laughs> I wonder if she has a sister. Oh, right. <laughs> All right. So if you see NPCs running with little words above their heads and, and you get, just beware of being too curious, you might end up finding yourself fighting monster. Or if that's your bag. faster. We are heading up to that little bridge up there. Oh my gosh, we can go through the tunnels. That'll be easy. Famous last words. Here we go. Yep. So around this bend, through this tunnel, this is how we came in the first time. Man, we just let our sprint work itself out. What does that do? Blend with your surroundings, making it impossible for most enemies to detect you, but reducing movement speed by 50%. Has no effect on enemies 10 levels higher than your own, or certain enemies with special sight. Cannot be executed while in combat. Effect ends upon using any action other than sprint. And restored upon reuse of hide. Oops. I'm lost again. I think I need to just go in here. Oh, okay. I did zig when I should have zagged. Or was that zagged when I should have zigged? Alright. Oh, Can we... No, I won't sprint till we get past this little gate thing. Alright, Summerfed is over this way. I didn't have to refish my princess trout, so we're good. I mean, I suppose I don't have to run through the goblin camp. Okay, I can just run past it. Ooh, what's that? Paramu! It is you! Alright, I'll be back. Um, I just want to go and unlock... Alright, maybe I'll unlock that in the next time around. What we will do now. We have found Paramu. We'll find out what he wants. Paramu. Get your noggin down, Rosalor. I've been snilching the action across the way there. No sign of the demolishers, but I did see one of them gambler coves stuffing the Galean gadget into his backpack. I knew it old one would steer a straw, right? This is your chance, lass. Clout that gambler gobby and grab all that device. Alright. Er, I've lost track of which gob it was, but I'm thinking it's that sod on the left. Just make sure you dance away from any bomb blasts. Twisting and dodging in the middle of a fireball might not save you from getting your eyebrows singed off. That's very helpful. Very helpful. The one on the left. Is he still on the left? Well, alright. In the middle of the camp, and you're thinking the other guy's gonna eat you? Alright, clearly not that one. What? Oh, we did steal the firing mechanism back. Let's head head on back to uh, our remove. Whew. All right. That's the way, lass. There's naught for me to do but sit on me daddles and watch. So you've got the goods then. 
Uh, yes, here you go. Huh. Aye, this is the device and no mistaking. Let's get it back to the guild, eh? We still owe them a demolisher bastards and millen, but they'll keep for now. Here, you should be the one to deliver the prize to Jackie. Twas your hand what snatched it out of the goblin's paws, after all. Hey, thanks. Not what I expected. Captain! Captain! I say, some fiend has perpetrated violence upon our goblin colleagues whilst we sought but to wet our throats with fine libations. This will not stand, Captain. Our finely filched loot has been pilfered from under our noses. Blast and bother, my blood boils and bubbles at the temerity of this affront. I know not the identity of these audacious buffoons, but they shall be made to pay and dearly with me, my fine fellows. Huzzah! Ooh, green and very annoyed. All right, I need to unlock a thing. Let's toddle over this way so as not to upset these uh, these bomb blasters any more than we have already. There we go. Away we go. Level 17, monstrous goo goo. Let's not annoy that then, shall we? Pretty sure I had something that wanted beehives. Was that a... um? Hmm. Was it my no, I'm in my road. Marauder? No. The Arcanist? Better not be. Taking on bees is that. Alright, no. I must have picked on all the beehives I need to pick on. Let's go and unlock this crystal and then I think we'll call it a day. Oh, you know what else we need to do in here? Probably the this. Except I'm not of the level to gather them. Ah, oh, of course it's not gonna happen. We need to go back to Gridania and upgrade our botanist. Alright. What was I doing? Stabbers in your fambles, thief. We might also, while we're here, if I see a, a, um, a dude for fixing stuff, we might do that too. If you have a look, I had 17 and a half grand when I started this episode. I'm down to about 16 now. Uh, and that's because of all the, um, the things we did. Jacobo Keep, let's unlock that then. Well met, Traveller. Uh, no, not right now, but thank you. We might take you up on that next episode. Check my delivery Moogle. I should not have anything in there. No new letters for you today. That's always a comfort. Uh, let's go with Merchant and Nando. Purchase weapons. Purchase tools. Purchase battle gear. Craft. Repair gear. That's what we're after. Yeah, look, see, some of this stuff is rather, rather not well. Let's fix it. Alrighty. Uh, Alright, let's just work our way up. See what else we need to do. Pens are here, here. Nope. And we'll grab this one. Oops, no, don't remove it. That would be sad. Let's repair the gear for this one. Yeah, a little bit better fix. Nice. We should be um, pretty much right because a lot of the gear is shared between the builds. Was that our Marauder? No, that was our Pugilist. Why? Because the Marauder has a big axe on her back. That's how I tell. Lancer should be okay. My bad. Oh boy, I am really glad I checked that one. Nothing like having the gear fall off you when you're trying to use it in a fight. I know, one class, one class. Easy to maintain. You do all the classes, you gotta do all the maintaining. Um, usually you're okay if you haven't used it very much. I mean, my kindness probably has something to do. Yeah, not much though, because we've, we've fixed a lot of the shared gear now. And alchemist. Oh boy. Well, let's, let's make that better. There we go. There's bound to be something for my armorer to do. Um, probably I healed a lot of it with the alchemist there. Blacksmith. Uh, carpenter. Probably not a lot for this one. I don't think I've developed this one up. Oops. To, uh, to where I should be now. Oh, level 21. Okay, I take it back. 
killing Marion. I'm bound to need to fix my fry pan, right? Yeah, there we go. Fix the fry pan. Uh, goldsmith. Don't remove it. I know, I keep right clicking when I should be left clicking. Left clicking when I should be right clicking. Leather worker. All good. And weaver. And botanist. Now I shouldn't have anything to repair on the botanist. Unless it's shared gear with something I've been using. So maybe those, for instance. Um, that will probably negate a lot of what I need to repair on the fishing rod. Except for maybe the fishing rod. I might take it back. Alright, so at least we know next episode we're going to be, no, wrong one. We're going to be pretty much in good stead. Um, it looks like it hurts me when I actually change classes too. Alright, so let us go back into our into our road. We still haven't done the thing we came here for, which is find this etherite crystal and attune to it. Pretty sure we're in the right spot. It'd be embarrassing if we're not. Let's get that done. Alrighty. Okay, so now moving about Gridania is going to be a little bit easier. If we have a look at our map, we can now teleport ourselves. Sorry, Lanosia, not Gridania. We can now teleport ourselves down into Lower Lanosia, back to Limsa, and into Middle Lanosia. We've still got a couple to do. Swift Perch is unattuned, and Aleport is unattuned. I might actually just jog through that way. This looks like... Oh, it's probably pirates. We should do that. We might do that next episode. Alright guys, but on that note, I am going to leave you. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.